Oh, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. First fish, guys. First fish. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go, man. Woo! Not even that big, but dog on it. I ain't recording no intro, no nothing. First fish in the boat, baby. Let's go. Man, what is happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Gone Fishing 804. First time out in a while. It's been a minute. And y'all been talking about me. But I appreciate that. You guys gave me some motivation. Dang on. It is. These fish are should be staging up, man. The pre-spawn bite should be right around the corner. So that's what we are looking for today. We're going to look for those staging fish that ain't all the way up on the bank. But they thinking about moving up to the bank. Maybe throw the crankbait around. Spinner bait. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I'm not talking no more. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking no more. Let's go fishing. You can see I'm out of practice. It's been a minute, but anyway, let's get it. Look at that chick magnet on his face. That red color, man, fishing this point right here. Let's go. Let's go. Hook set, beautiful. Beautiful, guys first fish little baby bass but we've been here literally five minutes maybe so starting off pretty good all right dude oh not the boat do we that dude was super feisty man man that felt good that felt great all right guys all right, so let's see if we can replicate that. I mean, that was so quick. <laughs> I hope it's not one of those days, man, where I catch one in the first 10 minutes and, you know, can't produce any more after that. But, shoot, dog on it. That fish was shallow, man. That fish came off of a, came off of a chick magnet, Strike King chick magnet with the computer chip bill on it it dives to around maybe like six or six feet or so real flat sided crank man red is the color for right now early spring pre-spawn we're looking for those fish i'm i'm literally right on this point so we're looking for those fish that are about to move up but not moving up yet that may be a little bit off of the uh off of the bank some so we're just throwing this crankbait around trying to locate some fish and kind of see what they're doing but um this thing comes out and this comes out and it's pretty flat right here and it's a nice drop off to about 10 11 feet um so we'll see if we can't get any more man that was awesome that was awesome oh man it felt so good and i've got all that water back there to cover today we got we've got uh shoot man we've got like six hours or so so we're gonna see if we can't find one or two or three or four we really need to see gertrude we have not seen gertrude in forever guys so hopefully hopefully we will see her today There he is, guys. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a real good one. That's a real good one, guys. Come here. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Come here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, boy. Yes, sir. That's why you keep grinding it out right there. That is why you keep grinding it out, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Look how that fish got that crank, guys. That's what I'm talking about, baby. This is a nice fish. Maybe a three and a half, but fat. Fat. Let's go, boy. Let's go. All right, guys. We've been grinding for a minute, man. 
and we finally finally got a a decent fish just cranking and cranking and cranking boy this fish looks so good man we're gonna see if we can't get on some more guys let's get it beautiful fish beauty let's go you ready nice that's why you throw the crankbait in that early springtime a big old pre-spawn fish well it wasn't really that big but it was a decent fish man uh it's been about maybe i don't know an hour and a half since i've caught that that first one so we're gonna keep grinding guys if you guys are liking this content please leave your boy a thumbs up and if you don't mind well you already know what it is let's get it mm. That's a little bit better. All right, guys, so we are out here, man. Um, and I'm gonna just go through what I've been doing and uh, you know, what's been, if I if I can stay off of the tree. Wow, uh, is all of that bait? Look at that. That's either a tree or a massive, massive bait. But anyway, guys, we've been concentrating on going over to like shallow flats. And what I'll do is I'll get off of the flat until my boat is in like 10, 8 to 10 foot of water. Is where I'm keeping my boat and I'm throwing that crankbait up on the flat and reeling it back down the bank. And that has been by far the most uh, successful way to catch them thus far today. Um, we've tried several different techniques, but that crankbait has seemed to be the one that is getting the fish to commit and actually get that reaction strike out of them. So we're gonna keep doing that. But uh, you know, just a quick little explanation of what uh, what's going on or what I think's going on. Cause we only caught two fish. So I'm thinking it's not even a pattern yet. <laughs> uh, we still got the rest of the day to fish. So we're out here for a while. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you do, you know, you already know what to do. If you are enjoying the content, you already know what to do, man. I ain't gonna talk no more. Let's go get them. That's a big one, guys. Oh, no! Oh. God, dog it! Dang! Look, there he is right there. Dang! <sighs> there he is still. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck on something. That was a big fish. <sighs> Guys, I'm... <laughs> so upset right now man i literally just missed probably i i don't know it it was huge i know it was a big fish uh i don't know man i don't know i'm, I'm perplexed now you guys please send me some thumbs up to help me deal with this pain of losing that fish it, it, it was Mm, I don't know. I don't know. But we're not going to think about it. We'll keep going. Keep grinding. Lost my red crankbait. Luckily, I brought a few more. And uh, I'm going to rig up again. And I, I mean, I just don't know what, what happened with that one. I don't know. But it is what it is, I guess. Let's keep getting after it.
There we go, guys. Fish on. On the chatterbait. I think it's a fish. It feels, yeah, it's a fish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The chatterbait had to come through. Let's go. All right, guys, we got another one. The chatterbait all in his mouth, man. We've been grinding and grinding and grinding and we finally got us another fish and z-man chatterbait stealth blade baby you already know what it is so this is the i don't know third or fourth fish for today and i mean we've been out here for a while trying to get one there you go there's that chatterbait right there and we got a nice i don't know maybe two pounder long and skinny up shallow up really really shallow let him get out of here. All right, dude, you ready? Feisty? Feisty? No. Let's go, man. <sighs> all right. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, guys, it's about that time to get on out of here, man. But we had an awesome, awesome day. Not very, like, a huge, huge amount of fish, but the most uh, fish that we caught came off of that Strike King Chick Magnet crankbait. Dies around six feet red. That was the color for the day. I threw a whole bunch of stuff and couldn't get nothing, but that red, when that red hit, yeah, they was on it. Lost a giant uh, that fish was huge like when i sat on him i couldn't even move him <sighs> then my line popped so i guess that's some maintenance issues or some some not issues that i gotta look into but uh, i appreciate everybody for tuning in rocking out with your boy we going up as always for 2023 you guys already know what it is man keep them lines wet because it's all about the hook set Let's get it.